Hey guys, thanks for going and welcome back to another video where today we're going to watch Cardiff v Middlesbrough in the Championship. Last week we did get that 1-1 draw against Derby with Robert Glatzel uh, scoring that penalty, but Team News has just come out, he is not even in the team. What's happening there? Is he injured? Has Warnock dropped him? Who knows? But another thing you have to look at is as well, that Vassell's not in the team, um, Etheridge returns but he's on the bench, but anyway, here's the Team News. Uh, Smithy's in goal, back four, Peltier, Morrison, Flint and Bennett. Then in midfield, we've got Ros and Bakuna with Patterson just in front of them. Then Gavin White, Josh Murphy and Omar Bogle up front. Uh, Efridge returns to the bench. Tomlin's also on the bench. And no Vassell, Glatzel. And yeah, that's very that's a very interesting lineup. Where is Glatzel? Who knows? But what's your thoughts? I don't know. He must he must have a knot because if he if he's not going to be starting, he'd be on the bench anyway. And uh, I know that Warnock was sort of waxing lyrical about him anyway. He must have picked up a knock in the last few days, but... Uh, yeah, looking at this game today against Middlesbrough, both teams haven't really started the season. You know, Cardiff now four games without defeat. Middlesbrough haven't really... They, I think they're in a sort of a little bit of a transitional period, playing from Poulis ball, you could say, into Woodgate, sort of... I think he's starting to play out from the back, and that could really play into Cardiff Cardiff's hands today, because I think I've seen a stat somewhere that Cardiff are one of the best teams in the division for winning the ball high up high up at the pitch so um if cardiff can get into them and press them then you know they're, if they're not used to the style playing out from the back then cardiff could capitalize on that and hopefully nick a goal i don't expect this game to be any anywhere near a classic or anything i think it's going to be quite a scrappy affair hopefully josh murphy will have a good game but i see it ending up as a one nil victory to the bluebirds but um i'm not expecting um amazing football today no i'm not expecting it either i think it's going to be one nil as well um not sure who's going to score you never know gavin might gavin white might get on the score sheet bogle might score one but yeah i, I think we've got so out as well uh, bogle coming into the team he did well pre-season and he's looked all right when he's come on as well or when he's been involved in the matches so um it's good to see that bogle is going to get his chance and he really needs to take it this afternoon um, it's good to see Tomlin back on the bench as well. I know a lot of people were wondering where he was last week, but it's, it transpires that he was in a car accident and he suffered from a bit of whiplash uh, last week. So, um, yeah, good to see him on the bench. Hopefully he'll come on. Uh, as we know that Patterson's there, and Patterson, I'm not sure with Patterson this season, he, he's, he hasn't really got into the groove. not sure if he's carrying a slight injury or um, he's come back after the summer break with a little bit uh, of timber around him. But... Uh, yeah, stats-wise, though, I know he's been very good in the air, but uh, yeah, good to see Tomlin come on at some point, and hopefully we can nick this one today and get three points. Yeah, hopefully we can, and it'll be good for us to get some points on the table at this stage, especially in the season. We really need them at the moment. And it'll be interesting to see how the defence plays out and whether we can keep a clean sheet, so come on, City. <laughs> Uh, very narrowly thanks to that um, Fletcher own goal I believe 
uh, in, in like, the second minute, which was ridiculous. And uh, yeah, good corner that Carter took. Uh, very lucky that he uh, headed it into his own net. But yeah, but in a very scrappy affair, like we said at the start, and not much quality into the, at all in today's game. So we have a lot that could be improved on. The fence could be a little bit tighter, and maybe we can get a few more chances that we can capitalise from. But I've noticed that we do really need a solid striker in this game. That probably a future matches as well. What do you think? Yeah, serious lack of quality out there from both sets of team players, really. Well, Cardiff having the better chances, but Google, he had that. He, he got, the ball got stuck under his feet, and he could have made it 2 0, but uh, yeah, so Cardiff having better chances. Put into the back, it's giving me the gist that when a Sunderland gets the ball, it looks like a, you can take Flint on at any time, but uh, Cardiff defence holding their own, you could say, but. Uh, Cardiff really need a second goal, just to show it, give them a bit more confidence and I think we'll see out the game then, but we seriously need a second goal. So for Cardiff at half time, oh, on comes Josh Murphy, he was full play, he's in the first half, a few mistakes here and there. And on comes Junior Hoyle, I imagine to be a bit more defensive. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's the end of the game. Cardiff winning 1-0 there. A very good result for us, in my opinion. And uh, it was a very scrappy game. Cardiff played well, had loads of chances. Uh, Defence was solid, picking up a clean sheet, which is also good for us as well. And yeah, it was just an all-round good performance. So what do you think? Yeah, I think most important was a clean sheet at home. Keep that winning run or um, non-losing run at home. So it's a bit of coming, hopefully it's becoming a bit of a fortress now. Cardiff City Stadium, but uh, three points was the most important thing today. First half, very scrappy from both teams. Quality, well, lack of quality, you could say. First half. Um, second half, Cardiff were much better. Played really well second half. Probably the best I've seen them play all season. I think, uh, just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net. I think Bakuna, Bakuna um, had a good song, actually, from the Bakuna. crowd. But, um, <laughs> Bogle had numerous chances, really should have scored at least one. He had, I think he had three, possibly four really good chances. And how he didn't score today, I, I don't know. The header he had in the second half, all he needed to do, a couple of inches lower, and it would hit the back, back of the net. But uh, yeah, very pleasing. Three points. A little bit nervy right at the end when Borough did push in the last few, few minutes. But uh, overall, yeah, satisfying result. And hopefully get those players back now. And we'll kick on and get some ink in next week's match, which I believe is away against Hull. It is away against Hull. And who is your man of the match as well? I think I'm going to give it to Gavin White. I thought he played really well, worked yeah, really hard. Amazing. When he did get the ball, he he, um, he did well. With it. I thought when Hoylet came on, he did well as well. Bogle, if he'd have put one of those chances mm. away, then maybe he'd have got man of the match. And I thought Bakuna, Rolls did all right as well, but defence, OK. I think Flint a little bit nervy at times, but uh, you can't fault the defence because there, it was a clean sheet. But I think that, I think that, yeah, I'm going to give it to Gavin White. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would have given it to Gavin White as well, and I thought all the defence was solid. Bennett had a good game, I thought. Um, Flint in and out as well, he did make a few mistakes, but all rounds, as long as the defenders keep clean sheet, then that's a massive positive for us. And we got to move on to Holloway, and hopefully Etheridge will be back in goal. Um, no, Smithies did nothing wrong today. Smithies did nothing wrong today, but I'd like to see Efridge uh, We'll be hard on Smithies, but yep. Efridge is, well, 
I believe he, he is the number one keeper at Cardiff, yes. but it would be yes. hard on Smithies. It would be. Um, after, a, what was it, four or five games now without defeat to drop him. Um, yeah. Massive bit of, bit of a dilemma there for Warnock, but uh, we shall see what happens next week. We shall indeed. And uh, anyway, uh, anyway, Pac might be back next week as well. Because apparently Warnock said in this press conference that he's coming back soon and Bamba will be back soon as well, I believe mid October mid to early October as well. So just gotta wait and see. So guys, if you did enjoy this video then please do leave a like and if this is the first ever video you've seen by me then please do consider hitting that subscribe button to see more content like this and to turn on the bell so you never miss an upload or a live stream that whole way next weekend. Uh, next Saturday of course will be live streamed so uh, so keep your bell on for that so you never miss that live stream. Uh, follow all my social medias in the description below and I'll see you all next time. Oil Vow.